Hydrogen's always felt like a dead end to me. I know everybody loves it, but it's always felt like a little bit of like a <laughs> non-starter. Well, I mean, it approached from a different, like pure hydrogen cars are, are unless you're going to do probably fuel cell type of being, that's probably not uh, the best approach to hydrogen. There's a different approach where you would use a different liquid fuel carrier uh, at room temperature versus hydrogen, which is very difficult to store. Liquefy, all those things make it very difficult, but but if you were to actually use a different carrier, like methanol, methanol would probably be the one of choice, um, just because it carries more hydrogen than, so if you have a liquid gallon of methanol and you have a liquid gallon of hydrogen, methanol carries more hydrogen per huh. gallon than pure hydrogen liquefied. I don't know if I would want all <laughs> these streetcars running around on methanol. Or have it's methanol. A great feeling. You kidding me? Great. It'd be it's great so for... flammable. So is gasoline. I though. guess so. Gasoline is just methanol is just scary because like anytime. No, oh, methanol would be. I mean, if you could get the fuel system, I mean, you'd have. I like methanol way better for a engines. race car. You'd have way better engines. Everything could run around on twelve to one compression ratio, right? <laughs> I mean, and and still be emissions compliant okay. and all those things. Absolutely. Methanol would be great. But ethanol never even took off, and that well, kind of is a bummer. it's how you, well, how is ethanol produced, right? So you're you're, not, you're producing it from biosources, typically speaking, versus, you know, methanols can be produced from meth, uh, from biosources also, but um, obviously produced from petroleum or, or yeah. natural gas. There's other things you can do. Ethanol could be, but they, they focused on the biomass version of that for ethanol. Ethanol can be produced in other ways also. With yeah, I've always just, I mean, all my, all my ethanol is corn-based. But yeah. methanol from a hydrogen standpoint. So if you could adopt one, they, if they would change to methanol, everyone would be super happy. Really? Oh, yeah. And Best performance fuel on them, period. Less carbon monoxide <laughs> emissions. Yeah, easy. It's a simple molecule. If you yeah. look at that compared to gasoline... Hmm. So it would be way easier to make a methanol versus a car compliant than it would be gasoline. I've never heard anybody say methanol is, I guess, the right route. I've, I've just never heard that. Actually, if you look at I don't understand if you look at history enough. in time, there have been segments that uh, that methanol is it was the primary fuel in, back in back in history. Hmm. Um, it's a great fuel. They should have. But again, uh, back to how is it produced? And it's wood alcohol, so it was back produced originally as from wood. As hmm. sources for fuel for for vehicles, um, especially when there was scarcity of petroleum products uh, during wartime and so forth. Okay. Uh, it, but then the petroleum guys, you know, that does a huge business, right? So they they control that energy market, right? So that's why methanol isn't the primary. <laughs> they seem they have this pesky thing called gasoline come off of oil refining that they wanted to sell. It all comes back to mobile. <laughs> it all well, comes back to mobile. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, gasoline was a byproduct of making kerosene. Yeah. You know, I mean, so that, so, and it, and it is a useful fuel. So don't get me wrong. It's just that, is it the best fuel? No, it's not the best fuel. Well, the town is, I grew up in. Plentiful. The, the <laughs> town I grew up in, um, it, it was whalers. So they got destroyed. Right. No more whaling all no of a sudden. No, was... no more whale oil, right? And so kerosene came along and pushed a, pushed whale oil out of the out of poor whale existence. But you know, this is how the market evolves, right? But again, methanol, if you're gonna move to a hydrogen economy or hydrogen transportation fuel, you already have infrastructure for liquid fuels, right? You just have to substitute what that liquid mm -hmm. fuel is, methanol. And you can produce it just as easily as you can produce gasoline. Would it just be one grade across the board? No, four no, different there's grades. No, there's no fuel? such thing as a grade. Yeah, it's, it's just, methanol. Huh. <laughs> there's no additives. There's no you know, what gasoline has to produce with all these additives to get it to burn cleanly, right? So but how we, different of methanol would it be from race? What we use in a race car? Same thing. Nothing. It's a, it's it's methanol is a is a molecule, right? It's a single molecule. Gasoline is comp complex hydro hydrocarbon, right? That requires other liquid additives to get it to burn cleanly in an engine, right? So this is why, you know, it's a, what they call a blended gasoline, right? There's all kinds of things they add to gasoline to be able to make it so you can be conditions compliant. Methanol doesn't require that. <laughs> it doesn't require any additives. It's methanol. You can just use it as is. So the future is in methanol. and From all aspects, if you think about it, you could run methanol in your car. You could run methanol as it is with an internal combustion engine. And you can also use it in a fuel cell. So with a catalytic catalyst and a very simple catalyst in a in small temperature change, uh, you can break the hydrogen off methanol very cleanly and you can transport the fuel anywhere. So infrastructure is already set up. Methanol. Well, everything is in an engine would be very happy and clean. Absolutely. Best fuel. Yeah. Hands down. Best fuel. I mean, I, I, everything would run cooler. 
I've never, I've just never heard it. I, I guess I always just assume methanol is expensive, but it's just because it's, it's not only, it's only heavily. really kind of expensive, really only due to the fact that it's produced in not the volumes that you see petroleum yeah. for gasoline, right? So this whole refining of, you know, uh, you're, as you're refining oil into diesel, right? There's this other stream of all these other light hydrocarbons that come off, right? And one of them being gasoline. So there's a plentiful amount of gasoline that's a, literally a byproduct of, of refining oil down to productive kerosene for jet fuel to diesel and, you know, diesel. That's the primary, you know, you produce that, all these other streams are subsequent to that. So if it was mostly methanol, would that be produced from organic product? No, you can produce it, it from, from petrol, petrol, uh, natural gas. You can produce methanol from so, natural gas very easily. So then why would the gasoline companies be opposed to this if they can still make it? Well, they're, they're, they're still producing a lot of diesel. So what do they do with the gasoline? So they could probably reform gasoline and probably re refine actual gasoline product down into a, a simpler product like methanol. Hmm. They just haven't invested any money in doing it. I wonder how that would work in like an aerospace because... Like they already use basically diesel, right? It's kerosene, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, Jet A one is like kerosene. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but you could run other liquid fuels and and turbine engines. So it's density, right? It's the energy density, and and jet fuel is one of the reasons that they want to use it because the amount of energy they can get, it's very densely. Where methanol per gallon total energy is less, right? So you don't get the energy density that you get in in kerosene. Do you think methanol would need a rebranding? Maybe change the name a little bit. Maybe try to get something a little <laughs> bit more fun. How's it? How, how's methanol not fun? Like, I don't know. The, what, I mean, is there a stigma to methanol? I don't know. Maybe it's maybe there is a stigma in my brain, but maybe I would have to ask like somebody that doesn't know. Like, hey, right now you buy gasoline, fossil fuels. <laughs> People love hearing that. Oh, this was a dinosaur fossil. Like, but, again, but it, yeah, I mean, again, uh, you can produce most fuels from other sources. Yeah. Like, you know, again, petroleum is still, you know, uh, it, it controls the market today and will for a foreseeable future um, to produce other fuels. So if you want to have a clean fuel, you, like a, like methanol would be the best one because it's so diverse. Like, you know, you, you can put it in your internal combustion engine. Mm -hmm. You can put it in a fuel cell car uh, or trucking, for instance. So, again, back to efficiencies and yeah, it would be it would be the right path. Uh, you know, for hydrogen. So if you want to have hydrogen, you do it through yeah. methanol because all, you, you, all the other infrastructure is in place to be able to handle that liquid fuel where you don't have that for all the other options. Well, then there's even very, very few cars that I've seen run on LP, which is like a very rare thing, but I've seen it in like the yeah. Midwest. Because it, it's a back to availability of fueling, right? Mm -hmm. It's still not the easiest fueling. You, it's pressurized. Right, so you have pressurized tanks. Methanol don't require pressurized tanks. They don't require. So again, yeah. it's kind of like you boil it down to the most common denominator of the reason that liquefied natural gas is only used in certain applications, where you know, like buses and so forth. It makes sense, right? Because because they come back and go to the same spot all the time, so you can yeah. fuel them up on location. They're very clean, um, burning. So uh, same thing would be true if you were running methanol, right? In in, in these types of applications, it's just that. You would need to sort you switch your production to be methanol production versus gasoline. I'm sure the freaking hypercar companies and supercar companies would love if everybody switched to methanol all of a sudden. That's what I'm saying. I mean, if you if you could get if you know common sense doesn't always rule the day because there's people who have money invested in not that thing, right? Mm -hmm. So so where the money is invested is not in methanol at the moment. There's a good investment in it already. I mean, there's a methanol infrastructure there, but it's not the magnitude of what you see for diesel and gasoline product, right? So you would need to, to make a change, but that's only going to happen through, you know, regulatory type of stuff where you're going to force a change to happen. Because why reinvest in another type, you know, in that when well, you we were able to it. get a, away from leaded gasoline? That was a good one. Mm -hmm. That was a good. <laughs> but it could they could have just said, hey, we're just going to produce methanol instead. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I just wonder, like it. Like, who needs to know, I guess, really, to, to start implementing changes? Because I guess people, yeah. like, the VPs of these big gas companies probably know that this stuff. Or they just have no idea, and some engineer knows, but he's just kind of doing his job. And I mean, I think VP has got an interesting, you know, business. They make lots of different fuels, right? But they they have ability to control or force the market to change, right? And that's, no. 
I mean, only people who can force change would be really large corporate entities that they decide they wanted to make that change. They won't. I mean, necess- they're not going to do it just because mm-hmm. they have to have a, um, you know, a, a, what do you want to say, financial reason for doing so, right? Yeah. Um, or, you know, government's going to say, this is the thing we're going to switch to. So um, that's crazy, too, because if you think about it, the same engine would just make more power, mm-hmm. run more efficiently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it would probably get And you wouldn't necessarily have to get rid of the lowest cost, uh, you know, uh, way to power uh, transportation. Well, now I'm kind of of frustrated. (laughs) (laughs) So, you know, not that, you know, I wish our conversation had an influence, but, uh, you know. But it, <laughs> no, I mean, that's to, an interesting one. Methanol, but yeah, methanol would be awesome. I'm glad we got to this talking point because I had no idea. I mean, I mean, it's 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 one of those things that, um, yeah, people don't don't necessarily know. I mean, the information's out there. It's actually easy to find uh, if you take the time to go look at that mm-hmm. that particular segment and why it would make so much sense. But the money's not vested there yet. That's yeah. the, that's the thing. So once you can get people on board to invest the money, it is the most economical solution in the short term. Uh, if you were on to make a change to, clean, you know, we'll say cleaner fuels, mm-hmm. and methanol would be your. It gives you all the options. It's transportable, yeah. room temperature. People would like it too. Like if you look, like look at how clear it is. It's like yeah. it's like water. And again, uh, if you wanted to go to to where you you have a zero emissions point, like for for cars uh, or or even trucks, is that you can use it in a fuel cell and produce ju- literally just water. Like it's. There's there's no emissions penalty for using methanol in a fuel cell system. The byproduct would just be water. Just be that water. would come out the water and CO2. Hmm. But that's always going to be the case. You're always yeah. going to have yeah. But but the source requires it, right? Um, it still can be closed loop depending how you produce produce that fuel. Hmm. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense too because the OEMs like Ford, where they're like fighting and like Dodge that are fighting to have these big engines, could push this change a lot. Because they could still have their big engine, <laughs> but then they could also kind of f- f- force the change that allows the big engine, and they could still have their marketing of the big engine and make more horsepower. Mm-hmm. So that, like, I mean, a freaking supercharged Hellcat would love methanol from the pump. It, agreed, I agree. It would, uh, it would, it would be a changer, game changer if they, if they, they look at that at a level that make makes sense, which is the economic sense of it boiling down. But again, back to People always have their angle, right? And the angle is whose money is invested where, right? Mm. So the amount of investment you see in in the existing infrastructure means anytime, it doesn't matter what, what you want to make a change into, right? Whether it be electric or anything else, the cost to change is is very high, right? And, yeah. and they're all vested and they want to get all their money out of their investment. So, Guys, thank you for tuning in to the Bogetti Clips YouTube channel. For the full podcast, check us out on Bogetti Studios YouTube and all your audio platforms. Also, hit that subscribe button to not miss out on any of the new Bogetti clips coming up.